Alright, and that's another video done. Oh, hey. Um, Metaton is taking five. That last performance was really terrible. So I was just wrapping up that other video that you've probably already seen by now. Yeah, lines are getting missed. Uh, the rhyming scale was all messed up. And also cues are getting missed, and it wasn't Metaton's fault. What he's gonna do is have a nice hot cup of oil, and the crew is gonna go ahead and get flogged. That's what they get from making Metaton look bad in front of the human he's trying to kill. Me, I'm just gonna go ahead and do things that are not story progression related. I need to make a few phone calls. Hmm, this elevator says L. What does L stand for? They've already affirmed that R means red. Does L mean lime? Oh, it stands for elevator. Do you get it? Maybe Undyne should let Sans take over the puns from now on. We're gonna head back to the right floor three. There's some phone calls I missed in there too. I mean, we called Undyne about that whole thing with the the guards. They're not killing me. But what about this room? Oh, Papyrus, that's just silly talk. That'll make no sense at all. See, Undyne's got it. You can't name it right and left. Because then the right elevator would be left. And you can't explain the joke because it ruins it then. What about this room? Papyrus should know something about this room. It's the multicolored tile puzzle! Yeah! It kind of broke on you before, but I guess it's the updated version. New firmware and all that. No, how, how about we don't? Nope. Papyrus! No! Ah, that's it. I'm hanging up. We're not going through that spiel again. It's already been shut down. We can't even practice on it anyway. Oh, hey, the performance hall was right here. All this time. I know, but I didn't really dance with them. I just kind of watched them. You know, it's kind of those theaters where they perform around you as you're eating dinner. Yeah, that is true. Undertale, destroying your preconceptions of debt since 20x, or, or was it 20 double x? I'm pretty sure it's the last one. I was thinking something entirely different there. How about we don't do that? Instead, how about we call Papyrus up again? The show's over now, you missed it. Ooh, that would be excellent. That would also be excellent! I want a poster for my Let's Plays! We can all group together and have a live band! And a barbecue! And fireworks! Oh, this is getting awesome. And another barbecue! Why the hell not? She'll be fighting with a giant rib. Don't question her. She could do what she wants. She has energy spears. And you could also call him in the spider room, too. I wonder that, too. I wonder if I've offended any of my spider fans. I, it's possible. I mean, a bird skin. Sans, where'd you come from? Whenever puns arrive, that's when Sans shows up. He will not let an opportunity go to waste. Oh, that's it with the calling, though. Hmm. I cannot make a four-minute video. It's just not possible. I need some more filler. Ah, uh, I can't go anywhere. Instead, we're gonna go some when. You'll learn about that. I found some stuff in the save. So, uh, allow me to get that save ready for you. And we'll see you much later. Ah, get it? It's a time joke. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome to October 10th, around 8 o'clock at night. I've been playing Undertale before I actually recorded it. And there's something hidden in this save that you might want to pay attention to. See this room? It's right up here. As we get attacked by the Double Davis. I didn't even know this was a thing. Look, I really can't handle a Double Davis right now. I have other things to do. But no, I'm going to get bombed on by Pyropes. I have somewhere important to be. 
I know I could just manipulate time and this will never happen, but I can't fight two pyropes at once right now. I'm sorry. So that can't happen. We could go to this room. A whole bunch of cactuses all over the place. What's going on here? The art club! Oh, it's good that I just arrived, too. Sadly, I am also late. By a few seconds. No one's allowed in the art club if they're not exactly on time. What the heck are you? It's a boss battle with... So sorry! Because he admitted it, right as soon as he entered the room. Indeed. That goes for both of us, to be honest with you. Except I'm more capable at it. Yeah, you have. How about we just stop what we're doing right now? He just wanted to find something to draw, so he decided to collide with me. He tried to draw a collision, that's not how it works. What are you doing? Hey, stop it with your 3D tail attack right now. So rude. That's your name now, so rude. I'm just gonna do something at you. Hmm, that doesn't seem to be working. That's what you get for not carrying presents around every time you run into somebody. But it's okay, he has his notebook. This is another non-Toby monster that made it into the game. From the Kickstarter. He's pretty much Muffet's evil twin, considering he's been hidden away. Luckily, I know my color patterns by now, and how to avoid them. Yet, it's not what he's doing. He's holding a notebook, clearly. It's something else at him. I meant something else! That's not a something else, that's the same thing. I didn't say same thing. Drawing didn't work out. He just needs a better piece of paper. Back to what I was saying about this guy. He has a dubious origin that a lot of people have gotten offended about. And I almost got hit by a piece of paper. You are reckless! How about you name yourself so reckless? None of that paper is good enough to use. It's okay! He could use a magic pencil! That's a thing here in the underground! I mean, they have magic fire, why the heck not? Yeah, you find your magic pencil while I continue with the story of you. Yeah, his origin's kind of dubious. People got offended to it. Toby was actually questionable about it. So he hid this guy away in the code. Can you imagine being the person that suggested this character? Paid your one grand to have him in the game? Only to have him tuck away in the back because the artist didn't like stuff that you might have done. And somebody else gets promoted to boss status instead. He found this magic pencil, that's good. Everything he draws with it looks completely real. How about you draw me a door so I can get out of here? Those are not doors! Worst artist ever! You and your birthday hat shall go wanting! Now it's getting actually dangerous in here. I should have bought some hot dogs, or some H dogs. But instead, we have doodle bogs, which kind of rhyme. Indeed it does! Look how wild its imagination is. It's shooting me with bullets! And they're actually quite painful, too. But some figure eight flying will solve them. What about this doodlebug C? It sounds for sea bearing. It likes to ride in boats. So, if I didn't know any better, that was a hint to stop getting hit by doodlebug shots. Luckily, I have another dog salad. And I have yet another hot dog, too. One more pattern, and I could deal with these guys using my own drawing abilities. I'm not exactly that great at drawing, but I can at least draw a really rudimentary boat. Take that, doodlebug C. You have been boated. Oh, this has just made it worse for me. Please don't shoot me again. I need to heal up again. I'm running out of food items. I really should have prepared better, but this was in the past. I didn't know I was even doing a Let's Play at this point. That's it. You. Not you. You. Take a boat out of here. We're done with you now. Yeah, you really screwed up. Use a regular pencil before I throttle you. You can fight this guy too, but unfortunately, as annoying as he is, killing him, you will gain 
an experience point and thus be logged as a killer. And that's not something I want to go with right now. I don't want to kill anybody in this game. It affects the storyline in very significant ways. Oh good, he's done now. That's very nice! What a rudimentary heart you've drawn. I thought you were going to draw a chocobo. It's not my essence. It's not my essence in the least. You have gotten completely wrong. Or at least he knows. Okay, great, good. See you later. Yes, we, we had lots of great times with hat-wearing kangaroo dragon person. Just get out of here, right now. Don't make that face! I will punch you right in it, I will find where you live. At least I got plenty of gold for that. <sighs> what caused me to want to play this game after running across that guy in the past? But at least I could buy some hot dogs, H dogs, some right now. I've had a traumatic experience involved with sorriness and boats. Hey, there's, no, there's, there's a typo there. It's an apostrophe, apostrophe dog. It's even longer than apostrophe dog. Yet, yes, we get it. Yeah, very good. It's a running gag now. Let's buy one more hot dog for the road. You're not exactly that huge. Oh, oh, that other thing. Yes, you are very huge. You should check out YouTube. People can't get enough of Sans. For some other reasons that I really can't mention, because I don't really know about it. He's a hot dog tycoon now, though. And he's big boned. Just saying. Well, that's it for this save. I'm going to leave it in the garbage can where it belongs. I did find some other saves, though. So I'll see you even later. Or, well, earlier. Yeah. Be right back. Okay, now that we had our fill of time shenanigans, how about dimensional shenanigans? This guy wasn't here before. It's right in front of the R1 elevator. And the number 61 comes to mind. This guy knows about the guy that preceded Alphys. Dr. W.D. Gaster. All of a sudden, he just vanished without a trace. They said he got shattered across time and space. Oh, uh, yeah. Why can't you say that? That is kind of spooky and sci-fi. Wait, what do you mean? What the heck happened? What the heck was that about? I need to know more about this Gaster fellow now. I have found two other saves. I, I, I feel foreboded, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. The next one is in front of the left elevator, too. Well, I found yet another one, and I was really hoping that last one was a fluke. But we have another gray monster here. I... I wasn't wondering. In fact, I didn't know there was a royal scientist before Alphys until just now. Well, it's back to Dr. Gaster again. His brilliance was irreplaceable. He was a great scientist. He invented things, but sadly his life was cut short, like all great inventors. His experiments went wrong, and... And, and what? Tell me more. I don't like the sound of that. Is he here right now? I'm gonna check the other room out. You stay right there. No, no guests are here. I don't see any ghost people either. Where'd he go? Uh, and also, I was gonna call Papyrus, but... Take a look at my gold. I... I had that much gold before, didn't I? So sorry he didn't give me a thousand gold, did he? Well, let's check out this other save. Much to my chagrin. We're gonna have to head to the L3 now. If you guessed the next save was a spooky gray monster guy... Hey, bonus. That's right. Another one of these fellows. What does he have to say about Gaster? Oh, really? Yeah, I heard he was a brilliant genius. He did lots of cool stuff. He could happen to create the core. However, his life was cut short. He fell into one of his own creations and... And what? 
no, I don't think she's gonna create something that decreates things. I think she'll be just fine. Unless Metaton goes crazy and decides he wants to kill robots, too. Actually, I'm gonna go tell Metaton all about that. I have a feeling he left again, didn't he? He did! Papyrus... Uh, what? That is not my love, and that is not my gold. I didn't change this! I'm upset now. I am very upset. I, I, I think we need to... I think we need to do some things. If you guys are wondering about numbers, that was number 63, and the head was number 62. It's something called fun values. We don't see me having fun, do you? Let's do something fun with the fun values. I found something in Snowden you might like. Be right back. Alright, I guarantee you, this is a fun save. Completely gaster free. You remember this place? Where we first saw the storage boxes. And we got a message from the box lever. We just head up there right here. And we go to a sound test instead. Huh, I could have sworn there was a fishing pole in this area. But we could listen to all our favorite music. That sounds great. Yes, favorite music. You remember when this was in the game? Actually, you shouldn't, because this was a removed track. Toby decided to throw it into the sound test instead. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but, um... It sounds rather ominous. And I don't like the name much, either. Actually, it just sounds like a bunch of brown noise to me. I, I don't remember hearing this, either. But it is, does sound rather unnerving. Wait. No! Not again! Where are you coming from? Where are you? Who are you? Okay, I know who you are. You're Dr. Gaster. Where are you? Show yourself. Unlike Flowey, he doesn't even want to show up. Now I just was reminded that he didn't show up in a while either. I wasn't done talking! I feel upset now. Uh, I, I guess we could continue Undertale again. Wait a second. What is that? Holy crap!